Hiya, it's Linda Lee, and I have a little mini Eco Dye reveal for you. I had a request for yellow, and so I was playing with turmeric and coffee to see, kind of, you know, just getting the combinations right and the technique down so that I can do a larger batch. Um, the I did some a few papers and some fabric, but I didn't do a lot of really anything. The fabric piece is pretty big, uh, but the rest of it not so much. So let's get to it. Um, you can hear it raining. We got Ilsa on our way. It's been a rain event so far. It's probably three, four o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time, and she is pretty much halfway between Key West and where we are out in the Gulf. And um, really, like I said, just a rain event so far. It's been a saturating rain. We've gotten, I don't even know how many inches already, but the wind is not so bad. We do have some tornado warnings, uh, but we haven't seen anything in our little area with that. But anyway, you can enjoy in the sound of the rain with me. <laughs> These here are uh, watercolor paper. It is 140 pound, and this was a little pad, but I pulled it apart and I've been using it as tags um, in my eco dies. So um, I had both the turmeric and coffee, a white vinegar, as well as alum. I did use alum in this batch. I have two little envelopes that came unglued. So here is the back, here is the front, all folded. I have the second one. So if we fold this one up, here is the back. Here is the front. I have four larger envelopes that did not come unglued. I only used ivy in this one. I didn't use any other flower plants except for um, in the fabric you'll see something a little different. I'll show you that when we get there. Here's another larger envelope. The third one. And then the last larger envelope. I only did four papers. Now the papers themselves, they were folded. This is 70 pound paper, um, my drawing paper. And I had it folded and prepped for the other technique that I did, because this one was in the, in the oven, in the roasting pan, so everything was laying flat. Um, the paper was laying flat as well, but I had pre-folded it to use in my other technique. So I basically am out of the paper, so I just had to use these. But that's why you kind of see a crease in the middle on these. Pretty cool. This one is really cool. This one's a little less yellow. You can see where the larger envelopes were and the flaps. And one more. And then the last four are heavy 140 pound full sheets of watercolor paper. So I believe it's eight and a half by 12, right? Nine by 12. So these are nine by 12. And these, um, because the pot that I boil in, it only will accommodate for eight inches. So these are a little smaller than the next few pages. But 
they can easily be folded or cut. They make great tags, corner tucks, pockets. And this one. So these again were two um, the two envelopes, the bigger envelopes. Here you can see where the cards were, and then I had plants on top. And the last one. And this one is the only little casualty that I had. I have a little bit of a tear here. But it could be repaired pretty easily. And now the fabrics. Here, let me move this aside a little more. Give you a chance to listen to my rain. This is my favorite spot to be when it's raining, is right here at my craft table. So, um, this here is a small piece of fabric. I don't know, it's not really a lace or a ribbon, but it has this sweet little detailed pattern on it. Actually, let me see if I have the other part of it. So this is the original and the dyed. So with this, you can see where I had some leaves. And it's cool the variation that came out on this fabric the way it kind of saturated or didn't saturate. And then this here is the edging of the sheet. So the full length of a bed sheet. It does have some variation, but it's pretty solid in color for the most part. And then this big piece which, let me measure it real quick. I've done that for you on some of the others. Actually, can you see it? Let me see if I can get it framed in the picture. This part right here, I think, is my favorite on the top. Um, let's see. So, it is 15 inches wide, so folded by four, it's 60 inches. And this here is 13 and a half. So 26, 27 inches because it's folded, see? But kind of let me go through it for you so you can kind of see the different parts of it. You can see the, where the coffee, and then where there was more turmeric that saturated. When I dissolved the turmeric, I had it in a small jar, and I mixed it with some warm water and just shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it, um, and then let it sit, and then shook it again later. Um, I just wanted to make sure I got it pretty well dissolved. The other end. And let me show you the back side. So here you can kind of see I did have some fern in the folds on this one, not just the ivy. And a little bit more. And the last end, which I think this was the topmost piece. So, anyway, that's the whole thing.
so now that I kind of got a little bit of an idea how much turmeric to use, I more than likely will put the turmeric mixture in the middle as well as just pour it on top, which is kind of what I did with this. What I did is I had the roasting pan. I put this fabric in. Um, I let it soak in alum water before I started layering in the ivies. Then I layered up the paper and then this little piece was on top. Once I had everything ready in my, in my um, little roasting pan, then I poured the turmeric over top so that the water just kind of went around and saturated. So this stuff that was on top, I think is what got the deepest, brightest yellow. So what I'm going to do is, when I do it again, is probably pour some of that blended water in the middle. So I have some of that going on in the middle with the papers as opposed to just what's on top and bottom in the fabrics. So at least that's my idea. Thank you again for hanging out, listening to my rain with me. And um, stay safe wherever you are. I hope wherever this little storm, she's not so little, um, even though it's just a tropical storm, uh, she's going to have some pretty powerful energy with her when she makes landfall up north. So prayers out to everybody and stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.